Good morning, y'all. I'm Brian this morning at Hollis Farms. We are a long way from Hollis Farms this morning. That's something all together new for y'all today. Y'all so hang on. This, this could be fun. y'all didn't get to talk much on the way in we're right in a tight little valley here but y'all you know what we're doing we're hunting axis deer lanai hawaii hunting with pineapple brothers outfitters booked a trip through friends of mine at high adventure company in georgia i'll put a link to their pages so uh, in the description of the video if you guys ever interested in hunting in hawaii they've got the it's a beautiful place. Uh, access to this property. So we've got to, we've seen a few sheep and a few deer this morning. One really nice book bedded up here. I'll turn around to the show you. Can't swim very far. I just got my phone. But let me turn around. I'm trying to point him out for y'all. They're right under that tree right there. You can see the one buck shining. Facing to the right, it's shining. It's a bigger one just to the base of that tree and a little to the left. That's the one we're after. He's there at about 270. He stands up. We'll probably shoot him. I got a pretty good angle. We can shoot him for about 250. Make, make good shots. Using Alex. So, Alex, this is a Kemper 6.5 Creedmoor in Swarovski's Cove. So, we got all the rifle we need. So, I have to wait this buck out. There were several does walked down there. Same path he was on, they just stopped and bedded for some reason. Wait for the sun to come up and warm up. Either let them either take a shot there or see if they're going to come down a little bit, maybe get just a little bit closer. All right, y'all, we're still here. They Bugs bedded down. It's been just over an hour ago now. The, the does and the young ones kept going off, following the trail they were on. The bucks were following at a pretty steady pace, and they got to that one tree and just uh, decided to lay down. They're in the sun, so we think maybe they'll get a little warm and want to move off in the shade. But right now they're just chewing their cud. It's, one really nice buck, and then the, the uh, uh, smaller buck is feeding on the rocks, or laying there on the rocks, chewing his cud, and there's a little yearling buck, must be a little spike or something, laying right there next to the tree, but they're right at about 270. At the angle, we'd probably shoot for 250. So if I can zoom in and let you see him. the hill to the left and right in the center of the screen there that biggest tree you see the buck laying to the right he's kind of shining in the sun the bigger bucks just at the base of the tree on the left and just at the base of the tree on the right is a small buck's head so i think they're going to get warm here in a minute maybe stand up just got to be ready might not give me long to get a shot 
know where to go. We'll be here when they stand up. All right, guys, we waited it out. It is noon right now. First bedded that buck at 7.40. He didn't stand until about 11.15. I got a little bit picky. Had one shot, shoulder shot and I didn't take it. Thought he was gonna step out and he laid right back down. About 40 minutes later, stood, stood back up and gave us a shot. So, able to make the shot, dumped him. He's still right where he was laying. So, it'll take us a little bit to uh, turn the camera around and show you where he is. We're we'll gonna head back to the truck and go around. Gotta go around to the top and get him. Where he was, was, if I can show y'all. If you see that kink in the pipe right there, he's just to the right under that green tree dead center of the picture there what we're gonna have to do is go around and go to the top come over the top of the ridge and get him out of there gonna get him out I'll bring him out whole because i want to save the cape get around here and alec could go make the recovery and set up for some really good pictures go back for a late lunch Across this the other side of this cliff here, we thought we're going to head across, but they stopped. Right there. The other buck, he stood up for about three hours, and the big one never would. In that four and a half hour period, he stood up maybe five times. Shot. And then 
finally stood up one more time, a little over five hours. So. Made the shot and anchored him where he was. That's a tough place to get to. Have to wait till Alec get down there and cape him. He'll read the cape in the whole time.